protests there. And Lisa, I think a lot of people thought this project was what did. Absolutely, no question about it. But I found out the planned pipeline from Klamath Falls to Coos Bay is still before state decision makers who could give it the green light. Hundreds of demonstrators marched to the Oregon State Lands Building, Governor Brown, shut it down. demanding the governor stop a pipeline project in the works for Oregon. This will not happen on our lands. There will not be a pipeline under my river. Our people, your people, we need to come together. They're angry and worried about a possible natural gas pipeline. 200 miles long, crossing rivers, streams, public and private land, from Klamath Falls to Coos Bay. And one day they knock on your door and say, uh, we're going to put a pipeline through your property. John Clark got that door knock several years ago from the Canadian company that wants to build a pipeline. It prevents you from selling your property because if you sell your property, you have to disclose what's going to happen. So it affects your property. People don't want to touch it. So far, the federal government has denied the Pacific Connector gas pipeline a permit. But the company is appealing as the political landscape changes in D.C. The Oregon State Lands Department keeps delaying a decision on whether to give pipeline builders a state permit. Some Native Americans tell me it's a battle shaping up like the Dakota Access oil pipeline. We are now where Standing Rock was eight years ago. Uh, they're beginning the permit process, they are trying to push it through, and if we don't stop it now, that's where we're going to be in the next uh, decade. Now keep in mind, the project is different from one that was proposed to build a pipeline linking Northwest Oregon and Washington State. That one is dead, but this one, still in play. Lisa, thank you for that. Now also, will there be a light rail in Tigard's future? It's a ballot measure still too close to call, but we have a